Whoa, that's a big mushroom. Hello YouTubers, um, Vintage Player here, or Ferno, whatever you like to call me. I'm with Savage Carnival 4, and we are doing more Minecraft. Um, this is Savage's house, um, there was a spider on top of it. Oh, your dog got it. Um, oh, creeper! <laughs> He's dead now. Alright, um, see, so yeah, this is, um... Savage's house. He has a massive farm. Um, he started off his sugarcane farm. He has a mushroom farm, and over that way, past the mushroom farm, is a um, snow biome. Um, as you can see, I think if you can see it, right there is where my house is. So we're going to head back there. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you guys what I did with my blaze spawner. So we're just going to head back to that house quickly. Jump. And jump. Why the heck? Oh, my helmet's gone. I only just noticed that. More armor for me then. Make a run to the house. Oh, I need to get your bed done, on Leslie. Um, one second. Oh, hold on. I don't think YouTube can hear you. Alright. Yeah, I think they may be able to now. Alright. I'll make myself some new armor. So take 24 pieces just to make yourself some iron armor. Alright, I'm gonna run uh, this bed back to you. Here and take the safe route. Up in the trees. I hate the rain because it makes like the frame rate really it, like sometimes on server it makes it really laggy. Ow. I mean cow. Oh, go away, spider. Stop following me. No. Alright, I've almost got this bed here, Leslie. Okay. Ow. Here's your bed, Leslie. Your bed's behind you. That's right. Oh shit! That creeper almost went off then. Alright, we'll sleep um, so you can set your spawn. I'm just gonna go back to my house. Did it spawn a baby? No, it didn't. Shizer. Alright. How long is this video going for? Three minutes. Wow, I thought it would take a bit longer than that, whatever. Um, so, yeah, in this video, obviously, in this video, we're going to sleep, for one. Not over the chest, get in bed. Um, I finished off the enchantment room. I, like I said, I also finished off the base corner that I've done. Um, which ain't that bad, we got Bruin stand ready. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys my blaze spawner. Ender in the nether. Alright, I had to place torches down because it did get kind of confusing trying to get there. So, torches show me the way to go. Alright, that's the blaze spawner right there. My first, and as you can see, they all have to follow down into one hole, which is easy to kill them. So you just sit 
Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I didn't even bring a fire. Oh, right, fuck it. Go. Ah! That's bad too. Oh fuck! Whoa! I just had my hand hand my ass handed to me then. Oh shut up, gas! As you can see, that now they're stuck in them two holes. Makes it easier to hit them. Uh, yeah, but if you also stand at a really bad angle, they can set you on fire pretty easily. Fuck okay, it, I haven't got enough. Oh, shit. Oh, really? There's a pigman on the other side? Holy shit, really? I'm dodging gas like I'm fucking Neo. What the hell? Shit. No, just sell. Go, go back in the never when you have more arrows. <laughs> God, I was fucking dodging that shit because it's bloody Matrix. I'll point. Oh, fuck. I don't have any soul sand. Fuck it. Ugh. Let's see if I can find some before I go back. Hopefully without killing myself. Oh, never fought down there. Just down there. Oh, soul sand. What, ex what exactly I needed? I love how the most they spawn the Nether fortresses right at the edge of um, the Nether, right where the bedrock wall is. Ooh, almost fell down. That would have been horrible. Hey, there's never water up there, or mushrooms. Oh, but that looks like never water. That's mushrooms, okay. I was wrong. Alright, so now we're going to run back to my house. Yeah, it was mushrooms I was right. Alright. Wait, hold on. Why did they give me a never pull never pull sound? That was really weird. Okay. That's got me in a curio curiosity mode now. Why was there a never puzzle sound? There's something here that I don't know about. Whoa! Yeah, that would that would have been my death. Here we go. Ow. Right, so let's head back through the portal. Because at the moment I don't have any food on me, which is a stupid idea. Go to the net without any food. Right. As you can see, the ha the wooden fort's going off really well. Um. Right in there. What do I get? Uh, six blaze rods. And. I'm going to take six of these, six of these. If you really want to, I've made a storage room underneath my house.
Um, time to go to my mob spawner. I need a health potion. Do I have any health potions? I have two. I'll take one for XP. Also, I'm gonna need to get some. There we go. Alright. Oh, I, I hate near enough having a full inventory. It really makes me mad. I forgot to go put my nether warts back in the farm. Shazer. <coughs> really only need just 10 there. There we go. Let's go back down here. Right, blocks goes in there. Block, block. Okay. Oh, yeah, food will be that and that. Alright, that's that done. Um, okay, let's go get some water. Alright, okay, there we go. Ah, that should be enough, I hope. One, two, three. And a one, two, three. One in there. One in there. Glistening melon. There we go. Two. Alright. Let's make some normal health potions for now. Don't really need to make them splash. Um, you need a golden nugget and melon, and melon, and then you put a golden nugget and a melon together, and you get um, glistening melon. Then you put a uh, glistening melon into an awkward potion, which gives you a hit, instant healing potion. Go in there. Uh, right in there. Um, And then I'm going to make some Mark II healing potions. I'm going to put my sword away. And get myself a new sword. Go. It's Mark II instant healing potions. Oh, shizer, my headset fell off. Headset back on. Uh, let's get the rest of the food out. Alright, my healing potions are now finished. I'm going to take these. Place in the brewing area. There we go. Two, three. And put the other water bottles in there as well. And I'll just keep one in instant healing, splash, and one normal healing. Alright, let's go to the mob spawner. You see if I can get there within two minutes. Or uh, one second, guys. The video's just lagging a bit. As you can see, we're now in my mob spawner. This is the AFAK room up there, is where the mob spawner is. Um, so I'm gonna sit here for a bit while I wait for them to spawn, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back, YouTube's. Um, the reason I got my splash potion is you probably, if you saw my uh, mob spawner tutorial, um, splash potions are the easiest way to get XP. So. All you do is you throw that out the hole, and you get the XP. That's all I've got time for in this episode. Uh, like, favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.